We already know that Microsoft is working on future models of its Surface tablet beyond the core i5 Surface Pro that came out in January, and a new Surface could be imminent. It seems like Microsoft has been bolstered by the successful sales and international pre-orders of the Surface Pro, and may even bring forward a Surface 2 release date as a result. The 128GB version sold out numerous times, and there was a definite shortage of the tablet across the US and Canada. I'm definitely a fan of both the Surface Pro and the Surface RT, and while I do think that the former is a little too expensive and the latter is a little bit too stripped down, I'm really excited about what version 2 of both tablets could bring. The latest rumors say that a new model of Surface called Surface Plus will soon be available. It could be a whole range of devices rather than just a new tablet, but what will Microsoft add to Surface to keep it competing with the iPad? Well, according to the latest rumors, Microsoft's next batch of Surface tablets will include a 7-inch edition, which will go up against the Google Nexus 7 and the iPad Mini, and will even be available before Christmas. We heard back in November that a new Xbox Surface could be on the cards, and this could also be the smaller ARM-based Microsoft tablet we keep hearing about. As for when it will be here, the analyst NPD Display Search believes that a Microsoft 7.5-inch slate won't hit until 2014. Well, about the Surface RT and the Surface Pro, about the next versions of them, we could definitely see newer technologies, including NFC and LTE, as well as possibly wireless charging. Strong rumors suggest that the Surface 2 could have the 4G LTE version of Qualcomm's Snapdragon 800 chip running Windows RT. According to Bloomberg report, people with knowledge of the plans have revealed that Microsoft has planned for NVIDIA's Tegra chipset in the original Surface RT. We're also hoping that Microsoft will be one of the first tablet makers to use the new high-speed, low-power 802.11 AC Wi-Fi standard. As far as the battery life goes, we're probably going to get about the same battery life from the upcoming models because it's going to add so many new features that it would be very hard for Microsoft to increase the battery. It would be hard enough to keep the battery as it is, but put simply, the Surface Pro battery has to be small in the upcoming tablet unless the tablet is going to be pretty bulky. Now we could see a lot of power saving features which would also in increase the battery life and that would be a good way to do it rather than just packing in a bigger battery. As far as future connectivity, we're pro we might even get a second USB port on the Surface. We're seeing rumors that the Surface will have more peripherals that can click in and do more. These connectors look like they might be able to be more current than the current ones on the Surface. Like, instead of the USB 2.0 on the Surface RT, we might be getting a USB 3.0 upgrade. The Surface Pro, I really don't know what it would have in terms of connections, if Microsoft would be trying to make it even to, into even more of a workstation, or whether it would just basically keep the same ports that it has. Now, both the Surface Pro and the Surface RT have had storage issues among users because basically Microsoft Windows operating system is so big and takes up so much space that, you know, like the 64 gigabyte version of the Surface Pro comes with only 23 gigabytes of free storage. That means Windows 8 Pro and whatever default programs and apps come loaded on the tablet will leave just 36% of the drive open for users. Now, Microsoft could try to bring down the capacity of Windows 8 Pro, or they might add an even larger model in terms, like they might add a 256 gigabyte model and drop the 64 gigabyte version of the Surface Pro, and maybe the Surface RT would now get 64 and 128 gigs. Um, that that's probably the most plausible option if Microsoft is really planning to increase the storage. Now, one more thing that's kind of interesting is that the Surface Pro comes with a pen that you can that's basically touch sensitive and you can use it to write on the screen with. We might be getting such a pen on the Surface RT in the upcoming model. And another thing we might be getting on the Surface RT is and is Office 2013. Now, currently the Surface RT comes with Office 2010, which is a fairly new version of Office. But, you know, it would make sense that Microsoft would want to increase the version of Office as they increase the Surface. During, the, during a certain chat, the Surface team also cleared up how it came to ship the Surface Pro after the Surface RT. Basically, they said that we started the Pro three months after we started the Surface RT. Now, we might be seeing the Surface RT getting a slightly sooner release date than the Surface Pro, simply because the Surface Pro has not been out as long.
The Surface Pro also has an interesting display in comparison to the RT. It has a full HD display versus the RT slightly lower resolution display. If Microsoft does plan to increase the display on both the tablets, then we'll probably be getting HD on the Surface RT, which isn't a logical step for the tablet because a lot of tablets now are HD. And the Surface Pro, it might just stay the same or it might just get a slight pixel bump. We really don't know. What something that I want to see in the next Surface RT tablet, which may be a little bit unrealistic, is the full version of Windows 8. Now, if you know anything about Windows RT, you'll know that it's a very stripped down version of Windows, and it basically does not support any downloads besides those from the Windows Store. And that really limits users who bought the Surface RT. You really can't do, you know, any of the programs that you would normally do on a desktop, and that's a re that could be a deal breaker for some users because it's just not worth it to buy a tablet that doesn't really do much. With the Surface RT having a full version of Windows 8, you know, a $499 price tag, that would be a pretty good deal. And I would, you know, I, I bet a lot more people would buy the Surface RT if that were the case. The Surface RT has not done as well as the Surface Pro in terms of shipments so far, but, you know, that could change with the upcoming models. Another thing that would be really great is more Xbox integration with Surface. Now, it does have Xbox Smart Glass, but, you know, it would, what would be really cool is if it could be even more hardcore gaming on the Surface. Like, you can already link up, like, an Xbox controller to Surface, but what something that would be cool is if you could maybe even play more Xbox games on Surface. There, there would be more games that cross over between Windows 8 and Xbox. That would be really nice. And if the Surface got more powerful, it could even handle more intense graphical games. So, you know, that, that's an interesting possibility for the tablet. This Windows RT is okay, but it would not be able to handle that kind of integration, probably. You'd probably need full Windows 8 to be able to do that. Now, the Surface Pro actually does, is able to run Steam on it, which is kind of nice. So you can actually play Steam games on Surface Pro, which is, you know, a good feature for gamers. And, you know, it's the Surface may be one of the best tablets currently for gaming. Now, the, as far as the touch cover and type cover on Microsoft Surface, both of those have been quite interesting in the development of Surface. Those have been kind of been the, the number one feature on Surface. They've been kind of been the uh, number one thing that Microsoft has been touting with regards to Surface. And to be honest, it's really not worth buying a Surface unless you get one of the type covers or touch covers to go with it. If we do see, you know, a better type cover or touch cover, I really don't know what Microsoft could do with it. They could possibly make the type cover maybe slightly slimmer, I don't know. The touch cover, I found that it's sometimes kind of annoying because Microsoft tried to make it so you could rest your fingers on the keys without it sensing it. and. But that makes it, in some ways, kind of hard to type at certain points because you'll press a key and it, won't, it just won't sense it because it'll think you're just resting your fingers on the keys. We might get a slightly better version of type, or of, sorry, of touch cover for both the Surface Pro and the Surface RT. But anyway, that's about it for this rumor video. I've talked on long enough about both the Surface Pro and the Surface RT. Let me know what you want to see in the coming up tablets in the comments below. Both tablets are very unique in the sense that they, they're, they're going for a different market than like an iPad or even a Nexus 7, Nexus 10. They're going for more like a Windows crowd that's looking for a more intense, you know, tablet for gaming or for work. It's really kind of a varied audience. But like I said, let me know what you think or want to see in the Surface Pro and RT in the comments below, and thanks for watching this rumor video about the upcoming Surface. See you next time.